So if I go in here and we'll start with a very simple, plain looking level. If it wants to load, here we go. So here's my little character and we have someone else playing here. So I've got, you know, the basic controls, very simple, run left and right, jump, and I can do silly things with a head like this, etc, etc. But on the creation side, everything you create is via this little interface that we've nicknamed Pop It. So in here I can do simple little things like um, customise my character, for example. So I can go in here, choose a simple base material, choose some hair, choose some funky glasses, um, maybe a nice Japanese dress. Okay, so this is the um, character stuff. And then here is my swag bag, and this is all of the items that I've collected by playing the levels that come with the game. And this is what I use to sort of make the environments. So I can go in here and I can choose like a, a simple sticker, for example. So I can go like this. It's really easy, just left stick, left stick positions, and the right stick, I can change the size and rotation of something. And then it's just simply pressing X, and it stamps it down into the world. So this is a little level that I made earlier just to demonstrate the tools. So I've got these little pits. So what I can do is, probably the simplest thing that you can do as a player is just to place pre-made objects. So I can go into my inventory and select something like this, this um, weaved basket here. Again, just like the stickers I'm positioning, I can rotate and I just press X to stamp it into the world. I can go back in here, choose another object, um, put that there. And as soon as I close my creative tool, it's in the world and ready to play with, physical and interactable, instantly playable. Um, so you can see we've got quite a plain looking environment here. And we want to make it really easy for people to make things look good really quickly. So again, I go into my creative tool, I can go across here. There's a small selection, we've got these things we call backgrounds. So again, these are things that I've just won by playing the levels. But the touch of a button, I can take us to a Japanese Zen garden, for example. Nice bit of atmosphere. Or I can take us to like, a garden. This is, this is the, the environment that we used in the GDC level, actually. Um, or it could take us somewhere a bit spookier, maybe. Kind of, and this really shows off the sort of dynamic shadowing and all that really nicely. But I think today I'm going to go for this kind of warm environment because that goes with the chilli in the bowls quite nice.